Welcome to the channel. I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trailing stop loss on the BitGet Futures Exchange. Let's get into the video. To demonstrate a trailing stop, I'll have to get myself into a small position here. So I'm just going to come up to the order panel. I'll just go ahead and mark it into a small position. And I'll go ahead and do a long position. Confirm. In position. To set up a trailing stop for this long position, we'll come back up here to the order panel and we'll move from open over to close. Then we'll click on trailing stop. If you don't see trailing stop, hover over this little arrow here and then select trailing stop from this drop down menu. From here, we need to select a trigger price that's going to activate the trailing stop. We also have the option to come down here to the trigger price box and we can just simply leave this blank. If you leave this blank, the trailing stop will execute immediately at the market price or you can click right here and select mark price, whatever your preference might be. So for this demonstration, I'll just leave this box blank. That way, the trailing stop is activated immediately. Next, we need to choose the callback rate. This is going to be the distance that the trailing stop loss follows behind price action. And we can set that up by coming down here to callback rate. You can use the slider bar right here, or you can just type in a custom amount. I'll go ahead and do 3%. This means that the stop loss will follow behind price action by 3%. After that, we need to choose the amount of the position we wish to close if our stop loss gets hit. In most cases, a lot of traders likely want their entire position closed. So for this tutorial, that's what I'll do. I'll come down over here and I can see my position size is not 0.0036. So I'll go ahead and just type that into amount, not point not not three six. Now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'll go ahead and click on close my long position. Then you'll get a little pop-up window confirming the details of your trailing stop close. If everything in here is the way that you intended, just simply click on confirm. Now I've submitted that trailing stop loss. And we can find the details of our trailing stop loss if we come down here to the open orders tab, give it a click, then click where it says trailing stop. And here's where you'll find the details of your trailing stop loss. And in my case here, you can see that the status of the stop loss is pending execution. So this stop loss is activated. If price action begins to move to the upside, the stop loss is going to follow behind price action by 3%. If at any point price retraces by 3%, it's going to hit that stop loss and take me out of this position. If price action just rolls over from here by 3%, it's going to hit that stop loss and close this position. If at any point we want to cancel this stop loss, we'd come down here under open orders, trailing stop, and over here on the right hand side underneath operation, click on cancel. And as you can see, I've removed that trailing stop. Of course, you can use a trailing stop if you're going short as well. So I'll quickly close this long position and I'll demonstrate it on the short side. So I'll just go ahead and flash close out of this. Confirm. And position closed. So I'll quickly come up here to the order panel and I'll market myself into a small short position. Just like so. Confirm. There we go. To set up the trailing stop, we'll come back up here to the order panel. Open to close. Trailing stop. And this time I'll set a trigger price just to show you what that looks like. So let's just imagine I want to use 24,000 as the trigger price. I'd type that in like so. I'll go ahead and do the same callback rate of 3%. And for amount, I'll just close the entire position. So in this case, it's not point not not three seven. And of course, this time I'll be clicking on close short to close my short position. We'll get our little pop-up window again. So confirm the details. If everything looks good, click on confirm. Now we've submitted that trailing stop loss order. To find the details of this trailing stop, we'll come down here and click on open orders. Then we'll click on trailing stop. And over here on the right hand side under status, you'll see that this time it currently says waiting. And that's because we need price action to retrace down to 24,000 and hit that price point before it activates this trailing stop. If price hits 24,000, it's going to activate the trailing stop loss. And that's when the stop loss will begin to follow behind price action by 3%. Once again, if we catch a bounce by 3%, it's going to hit that stop loss and it's going to remove me from the position. But remember, this hasn't been activated yet. So if price action just shoots up right here right now without hitting 24,000, I'm not going to have any risk management in place. So certainly consideration if you're going to be using an activation price. At any point in time, if you want to cancel this trailing stop, we'd come to open orders, trailing stop, and then over here on the right hand side under operation, click on cancel. And as you can see, I've removed that trailing stop loss. 
In most cases, traders will likely not specify a trigger price, but that option is available to you if you have a strategic reason as to why you want to do that. At the end of the day, you'll have to do your own technical analysis on the asset that you're looking to set up a stop loss for and decide what parameters are going to be appropriate for you. Typically, I like to just take a look at the asset briefly, look left, see what are normal price fluctuations to gain a better understanding as to how far your callback rate should be and if you should have a trigger price. At the end of the day, you don't want to have your stop loss too close to price action. You don't want to get stopped out on a normal price fluctuation. But that's how you set up a trailing stop loss. And there you have it. That's how you set up a trailing stop loss on the BitGet Futures Exchange. For more BitGet tutorials, feel free to check out my BitGet playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.